Okay, Isla, thanks a million for speaking to us, first of all. Thank you. And this is your first movie where you properly headline a movie, and it's a Jerry Bruckheimer movie as well. Is there, is there any, was there nerves in approaching the movie, or...? Um, you know, luckily I didn't have that much time to think about it, but yeah, I was uh, I was scared because uh, I knew as the lead of the movie I'd have to be more responsible for the tone, and then yeah. also the character is such a beloved character from uh, such a, you know from best the best selling series Confessions of a Shopaholic, so I uh, didn't want to have any of the readers come after me in the middle of the night, if you know what I mean. With the slows. <laughs> yeah, just for ruining the character. But did it help having a Aussie on set and PJ Hogan, a fellow Aussie directing? Yeah, it, it, it did help, uh, but he's, I had to tell him, PJ, you can't, you know, do, he, he, he obviously has an Australian accent, and right before a take, he would come up to me and go, all right, Isla, what I want you to do is, I said to him, I have to do an American accent. The moment he would walk away, so I begged him, I said, please do an American accent, because then that will help me with my dialect. And then he did his American accent, which sounded like if Clint Eastwood um, and uh, and Holly Hunter was to have a love child. That would be the Lovely. boys. That's a, that's an image. That's definitely yeah. an image. Um, you've stolen a lot of scenes before this movie, like the likes of Wedding Crashers and Hot Rods and, and stuff. You know, you've stolen oh, a lot of scenes. But what was it about Wedding Crashers in particular? Do you think that just clicked? Because that did, that did seem to be the movie where people were like, oh God, she's a really good comedian. You know, I don't know. Wedding Crashers was sort of a surprise hit, I think. Yeah. And I think it. And I think you know what? At back back then. Um, at that stage, there weren't that many, you know, roles for funny women. At least around yeah. when I was auditioning for that. Since then, we've had, you know, Anna Faris in House Bunny and Baby Mama with Tina Fey and yeah. Amy Poehler, and you know, Bride Wars with Kate. H I feel like there's been a whole slew of um, where women have got to do, you know, more funny roles. Yeah. And and there'd been a period, I think, where there hadn't been that opportunity. So maybe that's why the character stood out. I don't know. And do you think, it, 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 is it easier to improv? Because he was saying you could improv a little bit in this movie for such a big production. So was it like training kind of, or opposite Vince Vaughn and Wedding Crashers to improv? Yeah, oh, Vince was so, I learned so much from Vince. He's quick as a whip and just um, always on, you know. He's yeah. the same person uh, when they yell cut as he, as, as he is when they yell action. Um, and, and that was interesting to me. And he would give as much energy to, you know, anyone as he would to the camera. And, you yeah. know, he was very... Uh, very smart, funny man. Uh, how aware, how aware were you of the material were you before you signed on? How, when, oh, you, I you was read very book, aware. Or? Yeah, read the book in London. Was a huge fan of Sophie Kinsella, and uh, never saw myself in the role, of course, because she's English. Yeah. And um, and then you know got lucky and got a meeting and 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 was fortunate enough to get the gig. And you've recently had a, had a child, so does that. Make, you know, does, does that affect your choices somewhat, or because you've done a couple of absolutely, I haven't worked well. since <laughs> I haven't worked <laughs> since this movie, so you could say it affects my yeah. choices. Um, you know what? I'm really fortunate in that I don't, you know, have to go to work right now, so I'm I'm yeah. not. And finally, you've you've written a script as well. You've written a script called Groupies. Yes. And how's is that early in development, or is that going to happen? No, we sold that to Paramount a couple of years ago. Amy Poehler and I wrote it together. It's about two, you know, deluded, <laughs> dumb dumb girls who believe this band uh, are in love with them when actually the band has a restraining order out on them. <laughs> um, it's not based on any personal experience. Um, but uh, so uh, we we set it up at Paramount. We got a great, uh, we got all the ingredients together. It's just one of those things where I then got pregnant and then she then got pregnant and now she's doing the pilot for a, a, an American spin-off of The Office. And so I'm kind of waiting for her to wrap that up and then we should get going. Okay. Well, it was lovely to meet you, Ayla. Thanks for speaking to Thank us. Thank you. Really.